That'll be your dad. <laughs> By the baby. As soon as you turn the corner, young Michael starts to cry. It's funny that how that child can sense him. Oh, Mum, it's only a coincidence. Well, it strikes me strange. As soon as he turns by that corner shop, young Michael starts. Well, that's where you're wrong, innit, a silly moo, cos I didn't come that way tonight, did I? No, no, which way you come, that child knows. Shut up! <laughs> Oh, he does know, doesn't he? he? Knows the voice of authority, doesn't he? <laughs> oh, I'm a pig. I'm my fault. Made me find myself now. Oh, blimey. Where you get this meat? Well, what's wrong with it now? Nothing. <laughs> Ain't bad, it all makes a change. Should be all right, it's best English lamb. Oh, how, how do you know it's bloody English? <laughs> it said so on the label. Label, you can't label labels these days. Put anything on labels, can not they? I put English, English labels on Pakistanis. Wouldn't make them bloody English, would it? <laughs> well, it should be English, that lamb should. It was 30 pence dearer than New Zealand lamb, that was. No, yeah, well, that's his bloody Labour government started that, wasn't it? All them subsidies to the farmers. No, it was a trouble, the economics in this country. Too much feather bedding. I mean, you New Zealand, they have lambs like we do. They grow them like we do. See, and when they're ready for eating, they kill them like we do. And then they freeze them, freeze them solid. Transport them across thousands of miles of New Zealand. Put them on a bloody boat. Transport them. Thousands of miles across the sea to England, and they still finish up on your plate cheaper than your Canterbury lamb from down the road. <laughs> Canterbury's in New Zealand, you burk. <laughs> well, that's where you're wrong, isn't it? Your Canterbury is in Kent, you ignorant scarce git. <laughs> I'm talking about Canterbury in New Zealand, where the lambs come from. And I am talking about your Canterbury in Kent, where your Archbishop of Canterbury comes from. <laughs> he comes from Lambeth. He comes from Kent. <laughs> spends all his time in Lambeth. He spends all his time in the Canterbury Cloisters. What's that? A pub down the old Kent Road. No, no. <laughs> Even scarce pillock you. <laughs> anyway, what's so wrong about old Ramsay having a drink then, eh? 
Well, if he does, Michael, he's not setting a very good example to those young lads of his. What young lads? Oh, Ramsay hasn't got any children. You know who I'm talking about. Those young lads that play for it. You can't expect them to go and win matches when you keep them out drinking all night. Mum, the Archbishop, the Archbishop of Canterbury isn't England's team manager. That's Alf Ramsey. <laughs> well, he wears Archbishop's gaiters. <laughs> They're his tracks and trousers. Well, perhaps it would be better if the Archbishop was their team manager. Eh? Because then they might behave themselves a bit better. Oh. They might stop swearing and kicking at each other, young <laughs> hooligans. Oh, blimey, daft as they come, she is, isn't she? Look! <laughs> the, the Archbishop of Canterbury, England's team manager. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone can make a mistake, Rita. <laughs> it wouldn't be a bad idea if it was. At least he wouldn't betray us to the Germans like Sir Bloody Elf did. <laughs> eh? Never mind, Bloody A. <laughs> what he done, wasn't it? Sold us out there, Jerry, for a handful of Deutsche marks, for a mess of porridge. Where's Bloody he, Judas. Where'd you get hold of that, then? That's it. It's an international scandal, that was. Everybody knows that Germany can't beat England, not a war or football. Calls himself a knight of the realm that I put him in a bloody tower and shoot him for what he done there. <laughs> you don't half get hold of some bloody stories. No, mate, you? I had that on very good authority. On, I, I had that from a peachable source. Oh, yeah? Yeah? Where? We're up the pub. That's where, mate. <laughs> oh, up the pub. That's a very good source, that right. is, isn't it? Up what the better scandal, more like? Oh, blimey, look who's talking. When you and Gran get in here and the port and lemon's flowing in a bleating gin, nobody's reputation is safe. Yeah? Good problem. The other night in there, Gran, she's only... only spreading scandal she was about... Evan and saying that... Mary wasn't a virgin because she was in child by him. <laughs> she'd be struck down any minute. <laughs> well, I walked away, I did. I wasn't the only one, neither. I suppose they're different to us up there. I suppose they can have babies without having to do what we have to do. <laughs> what they do up there is like, it's more immaculate, isn't it? I wonder how many they've got now, then. Who? Him and her. They only had the one. <laughs> yeah, no, but God blame me, that was 2,000 years ago, wasn't it? <laughs> How many could have had 1,500 be now? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> unless they're on the pill or something. <laughs> I only hope God Almighty can hear you, that's all. I only hope that you blaspheme your scar <laughs> I wonder if they get family allowance and all that. Queen does. Yeah, well, she'll bloody well need it and all if his labour lot have their one. Oh, oh, what's that? Oh, blimey. Oh, I've got this pain here. Oh. You having another heart attack? <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't bother you, would it? Wouldn't bother you if I was? Well, you have so many. <laughs> <laughs> terrible pain here. What? Where? Right in the. In my pimple. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sex change. Yeah. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dad, where'd you, where'd you want to go for the operation then, eh? Shut up, will you? Come on, eh? Get your coat on, Dad. Come up to the pub. Buy us a drink out your post war credits, eh? Shut up. Post war credits? Bloody <laughs> clever you are. Have you got them? Yes, I have, and I'm bloody well hanging on to them all. <laughs> Blimey, I felt something sticking in me last night. It's those bloody bits of iron you put in your hair. That's what it is. I'm Ooh. trying to look nice for you. Nice. How much did you get, Dad? Eighty-two pound. Go on. Eighty-two bloody pound, woman. Look. Oh. Yeah. Is it tax-free? Of course it's tax-free, you silly moo. It's a bloody tax rebate, isn't it? <laughs> Paid out a few thousand pound extra to a bloody interest the length of time they've had it. I mean, government. I mean, it's all very well. Start their wars. And they can't afford them. They come to us on a bloody year old. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> bloody Chamberlain, that old fool. I mean, what? Peace in our time, he says. Peace in our time. 
And then less than a month later, he's on a bleeding wireless with his... No such undertaking having been received, His Majesty's government, no alternative, declare war on Germany. Didn't, didn't enter his head, the guy the cost of it. Didn't cross his mind to find out a few figures, get an estimate. Something old song. You was as pleased as pants that Sunday when war was declared. Yeah. He was the first out in the street, running down the road, cheering he was. Oh. Until the air raid siren went. Then you nearly broke your neck trying to get down the shelter. <laughs> Them single deckers, not real buses. Well, everything's changing now, Gran. All these new flats. Got to pass the conductor now. Got to pay him before you get on. Michael. Yeah. In the old days, on your real buses, they had upstairs to them, didn't they, eh? Yeah. Could get on the back way with them, get upstairs, go down front, make out you was asleep. <laughs> no one asked you for your pair, see? <laughs> Made yourself comfortable. No one bothered you. Except uh, I got bothered once. Oh, wow. Wasn't the conductor. Wasn't him. I'm sure it wasn't him. But I couldn't open my eyes, you see, in case it was him. Because <laughs> I hadn't got the fare. <laughs> Kept his hand there, though. <laughs> Kept his hand there all the way from all gate pump to whopping. <laughs> Didn't take his hand off till we got to the causeway. <laughs> Only took it off then, I suppose, because he had to get off himself. <laughs> Unless it was the conductor. <laughs> but I had two more stops to go, you see. So I couldn't open my eyes in case it was. <laughs> Oh, well, whoever he was, he was very gentle. <laughs> Not like some you got in them days, all grab. <laughs> <coughs> Wish I'd had the fair, though. Seen what he was like. Hey, Anna. What about Gran? Yeah, yeah, I got her at the gym. Yeah, hey, Gran. Get that down, you go. Do you want anything in it, Gran? Another gin? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with your chickens, Joe? Ain't they laying? No. Uh, go right out there. Been up there, I suppose. Seems to have unsettled them. I can't get a good scratch, you see. Now, uh, put some earth, Dad. Well, put a sprinkle of earth, Dad. Ah, but they're not at all happy. We were across the road, you see, before they moved us over here. We didn't have much of a garden, but it's good for the birds, you see. They could get a good dig in. But up there, all them party floorings, they can't seem to get their floors going. <laughs> the worms don't last up there very long. Uh, and she's not very happy, the missus. Uh, won't use the lift. Frightened of it. Mister for about a week, soon after we moved in. <laughs> Found her halfway down the stairs. All stoned at him she was. Silly cow. <laughs> yeah, go on. I was thinking, mate. What are you going to do with them pigeons of yours when I move you up in a new flat then? Well, we're all right off. They ain't like chickens, you know. They've got wings, mate. We can fly. Yeah. Nah. Chickens have got wings. Yeah, they can't bloody fly though, can they? No, but they can flutter. Flutter. Bloody flutter. Oh, I won some medals, you know, with them pigeons out. Here, yeah. do I ever show you? Look at this lot. What's that? Look at all them. See them? Oh, yeah. All for speed, them nearly. Is it? A couple around here for war service. Yeah. This one here, see him? Yeah. No, that is. Huh. That's a pigeon's Victoria Cross. Go <laughs> on. He got that. He got yeah. that in uh, in Dunkirk. Is it? 
He was, he was a good bird, he was. He, yeah. Well, bloody. He was, he was brave, you know what I mean? He was, yeah. you know, he, Alf, he had an art. <laughs> Bigger than himself, it was. Boy, yeah. what happened to him? Rung his neck. <laughs> <laughs> Why, uh, see, he lost a couple of races. I mean, price of food, he can't <laughs> afford to feed them. <laughs> I wish I'd had the fear. Could have opened my eyes and seen what he was like. <laughs> What's she on about then? About a grub she had in 1914. <laughs> yeah, I've, 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 I've got six birds now, and they're, they're so fast. Well, yeah. you know, the other week I took them up to uh, uh, Liverpool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I let them go, yeah. and, and this is straight up All right. gospel. I let them go, and they was back here for where I was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, bro, what do you do? Walk? <laughs> no, I came back on the train. On the train? We were having a go slow that day, was it? <laughs> ah, get off, buddy. Hey, those trains do over a ton. Oh, said that. Ton or no bloody ton, mate. My birds beat it. <laughs> You're bloody balmy, aren't you? Balmy, isn't it? <laughs> bloody pigeon ain't been born yet at 200 mile an hour, mate. Yeah, well, <laughs> mine can, Elf. Yeah? Well, yeah. oh, I bet you a pound I can't, mate. All right. Here you are then. There's mine. All right. Like that. Hey, here you are. Here you are. Red, put that behind the bar. Look after that. How are you going to prove it? Well, oh, I can't. They're women, but you worry about that. It costs you more than that in fares. <coughs> That's true, isn't it? <laughs> All right, then. I'll have a five or another five oh. there. Uh, right. uh, cover the fair, that's all. Go ahead, mate. Yeah, mate. Yeah. And you make sure he's the real ones and all. <laughs> They're bloody good as yours are, mate. Yeah. You're not the only one what's got post war credits, you know? Right. <laughs> Have some more. What? Well? Have some more, you're a good thing there. Oh, I know that. It's done bonk with it, all right. Yes. Go on, then. I'll, have a, I'll have a ten with you. Go on, <laughs> Another ten? Yeah. 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 Bloody pigeons, eh? Oh, blimey. You'll have to pull them medals now, mate. <laughs> and a belt that goes with it and all. <laughs> Bleating trousers are full down. Star sled. Right, you ready for the moment of liberation? What? You ready for the oath? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we're laughing the other side of your face there, but don't you worry, mate. Go on. There they go. They ain't gone yet, are they? Being fair, aren't they? They're giving the train a chance to start. <laughs> no, <I> oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Aye, aye. Yeah, well, you wait till you get back to the smoke, mate. We'll bloody see about that. Ten of them. You sure? Yeah, if you want it. I want it. Make it twenty if you like, mate. Done. Right then. Yeah. One, three, two, four.
The trouble with your Wales and your Scotland, you see, is they want to be like us, have a country of their own, see? With a parliament of their own, right? But they ain't big enough, see? All your Wales and Scotland is, really, is like parts of rural England. And that's all right, I go on holiday to, isn't it? See? You see, what they should be is counties. Like in Devon, and you're cool, I mean, let them have a Lord Mayor. Certainly, give them a Lord Mayor. But, I mean, well, it's the same with your Ireland. It shouldn't be your Irish free state. It should be your county of oh, Ireland. I know that. And you, you I, I know that and you, you know that, but they want home rule, don't they? I mean, they, they want their own language. Yeah, what they want, mate, is a bloody good banging. <laughs> you know what? Like we give them in the old days, that's what they want. What, what you're saying is then we ought, we ought to have a war, you mean? No, you can't have a war with them. They'll be daft. I mean, in wars we have with them in the old days, it wasn't wars, were they? It's more like blood sports, isn't it? <laughs> them days they had, a, they had their own queen, Scots. Mary. Queen of Scots. Bloody cow. She was. <laughs> She might have brought a queen, you know, and she got a bit apathy, and we have given her a chop! Because yeah. they knew how to deal, again. Um, deal with us. Chris. Jocks in it. Because they're no bother, really, you know, jocks. A set of football. Some of them ain't bad at that, you know. A bit dirty, but you can't expect it, because all their brains is in their feet, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, of course. Oh, dear. Of course, the Welsh, you see. Actually, actually, you're, you're Welsh. Yeah. You're bloody hell. Oh. <laughs> the Welsh, they've got their own language, innit? They've got their own language. We had one in the army, you know. Yeah. He's, he was a nice bloke, but yeah. he was he was proper ignorant. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, he couldn't he couldn't speak no English hardly at all. No. <laughs> you know, all he knew all he knew was his Welsh lingo, you know? yeah. Yeah, we, we had a laugh at him. <laughs> a bloody thick lot, ain't it? <laughs> he, he said, he said all the people in his village, where, where he uh, came from, yeah. all they all spoke this Welsh language. Yeah? Yeah. So, but ain't a language, it's more like what you call a dialect, isn't it? No, no, it's uh, it got words and everything. It's got, uh, it's got words for drink and eating. Oh, your natives have that, don't they? Oh. Your coons in the jungle, they have that. <laughs> but the sounds, isn't it? They have sounds, sounds for things, you see. That ain't language. I mean, a dog barks it ain't language, is it? <laughs> Look, I see, I mean, your jocks and your mix, and they got that. I mean, well, your, your Scots, I mean, they got a language, they call it your garlic. You see? <laughs> but ain't a language. I mean, it's sounds. They got sounds, that's all. It's only sounds, you see. I mean, but it's, not, it's only any good for talking amongst themselves. If they want to talk to people, talk to real people, they've got to learn English, see? <laughs> so it's beyond their grasp, most of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <bloody laughs> ah, sick, you know. <laughs> no, we had to learn them how to dig out them taffies. We had to learn them how to dig out their own bloody coal, you know. <laughs> you see? Yeah, you see? <laughs> The trouble, the trouble with the average taffy is, you see, he's nothing more really than a two-legged pit pony. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, a pit pony will pull out more coal in the day, and he's cheaper to run, see? I mean, if the mine owners had their way, the bloody world should be a stink by now, wouldn't they? But, I mean, they was killing them all faster than Julius Caesar and his Romans. I was, I was think it's a shame with it, there's no coal mines out in Ireland. Because, I mean, your Mick, now your Mick, he's bloody good with a shovel, he is. <laughs> it's, what, it's what you're born to, I suppose. You give a Mick a shovel, mate, and a big hole, and he'll go on digging until he comes out <laughs> the other side. Moving on the rocks, please. Oh, oh. What? We've got one here. What? Taffy. We haven't got any bourbon, mate. Well, have you got any rye? It, well, it ain't, ain't, a, ain't a taffy. You can tell a taffy, a Welshman, he sounds like a Pakistani, doesn't he? <laughs> and you can tell him when you look at him, a Welshman, because you've got holes all over his face. See? What's that? Trying to use a knife and fork? Right. Holes in their face, you Welsh, you see? That's what they call your cold pox. Do you know what? <laughs> cold pox. 
sad holes in it. They used to take all the coal dust home in their faces. It used to cost the coal mines a fortune, they did it, a thousand, until they installed the pit head showers and they made them wash it all off before they go home, you see. How are you? How are you? Yeah. Ah, he's a Yankee. What? You're a Yankee, you Jack. Yeah, that's right. He's American. Over here to see the old country. Over here to see the old country, did you? What do you mean old, old, old country? Old, old. Well, they was part, I was under, you was a part of us in the old days, wasn't you? <laughs> oh, oh. No, you was, you, that, they're the same as us, they speak the same language, don't they? Yeah. You was a part of us, were not you? Right, a British Empire, and they decided they wanted to be independent and go it on their own, and you come to England like a son who would come to his father. <laughs> Didn't you? And you said, Daddy, he said, we're grown up now and we want to have a place of our own and England. You know, infinite wisdom said, Yes, you may. Go your ways. <laughs> and they've done well, haven't they? Well, they've right? done well. Oh, why have you got it, it? Give them credit. Well, it's still well, health. Of course, cool. they've done best of all. Colin, you've done better than Australia. You've done better than Canada. India. And you've done. Everybody's done better than India, mate. <laughs> No, because uh, we help you get started, didn't we, right? No, fair dues. No, I mean, we said some of our best people out there are getting started. I mean, in the beginning also, in America, you had a terrible labour shortage, didn't you? <laughs> right, well, who was it flogged you all your coons? <laughs> no, they was our coons, mate, when they come out of our Africa, didn't they? We had, like, a surplus of coons, didn't we? See? All, all lolling about in Africa, doing nothing. <laughs> There was, wasn't, wasn't doing nothing, was it? No, I was swinging in a bleeding tree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The other. And we sold what we didn't want to the our surplus. We exported it to the Yankees. You know, because I'm not saying we didn't do well out of it, you know. It's in economicals, isn't it, you see? But the fact, I mean, you was grateful for them coons at the time, be fair, you was. You ain't too pleased about it now, are you? <laughs> I mean, if the truth be told, you'd like to ship them all back again, wouldn't you? So, but we don't want them, mate, because we've got enough of that on. <laughs> so what is it? I think a great shame is that they invented a pill too late. Because you, you could have fed it to your coons, you see. We should have fed it to them now. Ram it down a bleeding throat. <laughs> I'll send them out to Ireland. <laughs> hey, I'll give you a mix, ain't a thing about it, eh? <laughs> I'll take their mind off their bog side, would it, eh? <laughs> Do you want to have a bet on one of his pigeons? This. <laughs> 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 yeah, the pigeons! You got a view in it, eh? Oh, what? Right. Yeah, is, is a map, map of it? Is is your mat matrolopus in it? <laughs> Pancreas. Of course, it's your all your environs, isn't it? That's, that's, that's where we are. There. Yeah. And then we are is it Liverpool? Liverpool. Then we come down here and we all your pigeons all up here, isn't it? <laughs> A beer. Stuck on the train. One hour fifteen. Yeah. How are you? How are you? Yeah. Here we are then! Here we are! Yeah, 
so are the birds. <laughs> they arrived three minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> Star <laughs> I'm talking about Canterbury, New Zealand, where the lambs come from. And I am talking about your Canterbury in Kent, where your Archbishop of Canterbury comes from. He comes from Lambeth. He comes from Kent. He spends all his time in Lambeth. He spends all his time in the Canterbury Cloisters. What's that? A pub down the old Kent Road. No, no. <laughs> Even Scouse Pillock <laughs> Anyway, what's so wrong about old Ramsay having a drink then, eh? Well, if he does, Michael, he's not setting a very good example to those young lads of his. What young lads? Old oh, Ramsay hasn't got any children. You know who I'm talking about. Those young lads that play for him. You can't expect them to go and win matches when he keeps about drinking all night. Mum, the Archbishop, the Archbishop of Canterbury isn't England's team manager. That's our Ramsay. <laughs> That'll be your dad. <laughs> How'd you know I was coming in? By the baby. As soon as you turn the corner, young Michael starts to cry. It's funny that, how that child can sense him. Oh, Mum, it's only a coincidence. Well, it strikes me strange. As soon as he turns by that corner, shop young Michael starts. Well, that's where you're wrong, innit, a silly moo, cos I didn't come that way tonight, did I? No, no, which way you come, that child knows. Shut up! <laughs> oh, he does know, doesn't he? he? Knows the voice of authority, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> I'm my fault. Made me find myself now. Oh, me. <laughs> Where you get this meat? Well, what's wrong with it now? Nothing. <laughs> it ain't bad. It's all makes a change. Should be all right. It's best English lamb. Oh. How, how do you know it's bloody English? <laughs> it said so on the label. Label? You can't go by labels these days. Put anything on labels, can not they? I put English English labels on Pakistanis. Wouldn't make them bloody English, would it? 
Yeah. Well, it should be English, that lamb should. It was 30 pence dearer than New Zealand lamb, that was. No, yeah, well, that's his bloody Labour government started that, wasn't it? All them subsidies to the farmers. No, it was a trouble, the economics in this country. Too much feather bedding. I mean, you New Zealand, they have lambs like we do. They grow them like we do. See, and when they're ready for eating, they kill them like we do. And then they freeze them, freeze them solid. Transport them across thousands of miles of New Zealand, put them on a bloody boat. Transport them thousands of miles across the sea to England. And they still finish up on your plate cheaper than your Canterbury land from down the road. <laughs> Canterbury's in New Zealand, you burr. Yeah. <laughs>